hello everyone welcome to my channel today i want to demonstrate the absolute cell references or how absolute cell references work in excel and how important it is so first of all i want to calculate the amount of taxes i have to pay per year so it's pretty easy i just write equal sign here and multiply the total income to the percentage 12 percent and enter so we have uh, one thing which is very handy that's fill handle we always use that we don't need to type all of this so i just drag this here when we use fill handle in excel it automatically calculate for us like for example when i click on this it select you select these two things but when i come here you know it moves it moves to the bottom or and this one also move to the bottom and also it's true for this one and for all of these so i don't want this so what should i do there is an easy way we call that absolute cell reference so i just double click here on my after that i put dollar sign in front of two i put a dollar sign and also in front of j put a dollar sign you know that j here is the representative of the column and two is the representative of the row so i just lock this cell and press enter after that i just come here and drag this down you can see it works perfectly i click here you know that it works perfectly and also we have a shortcut here i just want to delete this and right here equal total income multiply by when i click here on that time i have to press f4 but uh, for some excels it doesn't work we have to press fn plus f4 so i just click f4 to make it absolute it lock the sale and enter after that i just drag it down as uh, i said before you know that if i drag it to the right you see that it works somehow but here is a problem whenever i want to like move my formula to the right or to the left it automatically copy the formula and there is a problem i don't want this and i don't want this here because i have locked this and it's locked but i didn't lock this one so i should have to bring some changes to my formula it works for all of this you can see it moves to through the column but i have locked it before so i just come here and from here i i need this one to walk through columns i don't want to lock it in columns which is the representative is j so i just delete dollar sign in front of the j and i come here and in this one i should lock the column not the row i just put a dollar in front of this and enter and i come here and drag it to the left and drag it down it works perfectly as see when i select here it automatically select and there is another easier way so i just select all of these and delete this one okay skip and delete entire columns so i just come here put equal sign this one when i click here i just press count press f4 one time it absolute the next time it just close it just lock there the row after that third time when i click on f4 
it lock the column multiply by this one in this time i press f4 two times one and two times and enter i just come here drag it to the left and drag it to the right you can see now it works perfectly and one thing you have to have in your mind that whenever we play with absolute cell difference in some computers maybe in excel 2019 it doesn't work we have to press a 4 with if n plus a 4 so that's it for today thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you're new here and don't forget to hit the bell icon thank you